Hello, this is Cat Bernie Gaming with Games Bernie's Play, playing Borderlands 1. This is part 2. Now as a recap, we had just met TK Baja, and now we're on a mission to recover his food. So, yeah, let's get this mission started. Now, I'm going to warn you, they're going to try and surprise you with a skag right up around this corner. So just literally look in and pop him off. And again, I love Lilith with just how sassy she is. I mean, it's just, it's great. I, mean, I, know, it's not, I know this isn't the most accurate repeater in the world, but... Definitely gets the job done. And like I said, I, I've noticed if you're playing Lilith, you know, run and gun, like so, is usually the best, is the best way i found to play her. Um, and what you're looking for is this, where it looks like basically a giant turkey leg. That's what the food looks like. But running and gunning like that is really the best way I've seen to play her because like I said she's partial to really more or less the submachine guns I know I don't have one equipped on her right now but that's what she likes and of course the ones right there by that pile of food just because especially if you aren't doing like I'm doing where I have a level 20 this is the best way to ensure not getting killed not getting hit as much and also later on you'll see like that's kind of what i i refer to doing that as kind of the doom dance um if in part one you remember me you know you know where i was kind of circling around and moving um around with the um bandits where i take out the eight bandits for uh, dr zed um, I call that the Dance of Doom, and I mainly call that mainly from when I played Ultimate Doom and Doom 2 and Wolfenstein. And you got in those, you know, some of those multiple enemies that are trying to kill you. Yeah, you got to dance around them. Hit him. There. Right. Now this repeater ain't exactly the most accurate weapon in the world. See, I'm going to go take him, because then I can get hit him. Whoa, hello, he actually caught me. Then you can go, see, see, you want to dance around him. You don't want to let him get close to you, because that's going to be the worst possible thing for you to happen. And as a warning, bandits love to come out from there, and they already are. Hello. What's your weapons? Hello. Like I said, this right here is an Iridian. Downside is they do run out of ammo quickly. But the nice thing is they literally have unlimited ammo. Hello, Mr. Skag. Yeah, Skag's love to respawn as well. And what you're seeing up there with like the challenge completed I'll show you if you want. If you're ever wondering what your missions are, these are them. You can go in here. If you go over here, you have other missions like kill, you know, so many human type enemies. Um, enemies with crits. You know, five second successions. You know, where it's just bam, bam, bam. You're killing. That's why I said, you know, getting a level 20 to start out with, if you have a friend who will, who has beating the game and they're just gonna grind you and, and they can just grind you up and they have all the things done they just go to like you know the last levels and take out some of the crimson lance people you'll get up there pretty quickly um so yeah it's it, it's good to do i mean yeah it is kind of cheesy to do it that way Oops. wrong one i want this one I want grenades. 
Don't buy grenade mods. Just as a warning, because later on in the game, you'll find them like crazy, so don't worry about them. And also, when you finish a mission, I know you get one. Like, see, you can sometimes find some good weapons, a battle cobra. Cobras are usually pretty good. They have a good high fire rate, good things like that. So, um, do recommend them if you can find them or if you have the money to afford one. You can usually find a good one. Like right now, I have a really good, like I said, level 19 weapons. Aren't even a challenge. That was just a, let that gun not worth even picking up. <laughs> Reload. Going to TK here. And we get to Smells go like face our first world. boss. How you our planet, eh? And you will notice that a lot of these things um, are in fact movie references so you if you see that there's a lot of movie references in here so don't be surprised um, when you see them again in here you just got guys to clear out Yeah, see, this can cause you to back up, but like I said, you saw I kind of just went to the side and moved. You just want to keep moving with Lola. That is her specialty, is just keep moving, keep moving. And I'll show you why here in a second um, on her skill tree after I clear up these skags. So yeah. And if you like if you're wondering, here's the action skills that you have. There's your phase walk. Um what I do is I actually do this. I'm gonna take these two first. Then I'm gonna work over here, get Diva because it increases your shield capacity by 25%. So basically you get 1.25 of a shield or what the capacity it says. Your phase walk, this is the next one I recommend. Phase walk to regenerate your health. Um, but the reason you want to keep moving, is especially when you get up to, where is it? Here, with intuition, when you can get to this level, intuition, uh, look at that, 10 times, 10% 10 more movement speed. You get that, you get basically 50% movement speed for a few extra seconds after killing um, an opponent. And yeah, you can just move around all day. And when you make this in, after phase walking, you take 30% damage for, um, I think it's what, like five, six seconds, something like that. So, yeah, really good skills to have and ones I recommend. Now, here's where we destroy the barricade. Puts us up here, and we are going to travel to Skag Gully. Now we are in Skag Gully. You got a shield and ammo machine. Um, I always say look at the shields and see what they have you want health regeneration that's a definite but me right now i was called a panacea shield it's 150 capacity with 33 um, um recharge rate and the reason i have that on there is if you look at it it is quick health regeneration so definitely one to look at getting um Here's a, you know, just some repeater slugs, which are always good to have, especially when you're using Lilith, because as I said, with her playstyle, it is literally going to have fun. It's, yeah, you got, you got level fours and twos that you have to take down. By now, you should be up around level four or five. It's where you should be about right now. So, 
see they'll drop health and other items if you need it. And like I said, you just that is your best option of getting around them. Um, oh, hello. Hello, did not see you there. I thought I got you. Okay, now they should all be down. Up here, you're going to see two come from right here. At least I believe it's two. One. Yeah, and sometimes you'll get the stragglers from up top. Back here, if you want it, is money. You know, after all, we got to have money. And now we get a grave rob to find the gun stash, which. You know, if you ever think about getting a repeater and you're playing first time playthrough, don't. I'm all full on weapons, so can't pick them up. But here, you get an SMG here and a Ladyfinger. Ladyfinger is actually pretty good. Now, what you're going to want to do here, if you want an even better weapon, I'll show you where to go. I probably won't pick it up because, like I said, I do have what I have. Because, yeah, they'll throw that thing at ya. And later on, you'll find them with shotguns, and, they're even, and those are even more annoying. And the bigger versions of them are probably some of the worst. Although I will say, I will show you some of the worst enemies in the game. And that are these up over here, and we'll get to them up on top of that hill. First, this is if you can do it and you're just looking for a little extra XP before you take down um, Nine Toes. Is one to take up, and like I said, this is why, you know, moving, moving around, <laughs> definitely do not want to get caught up in this. This is why, you know, like I said, the Doom Dance, and I'm sure you guys are all familiar with it. If you play Doom, you're familiar with doing it. Uh, having to just dance around. Oh, hello. And like I said, you'll get extra money. You'll pick up extra ammo. You get a lot of goodies. But this is not the treasure trove. The treasure trove, my friends, is actually up this way. But first, we have to deal with these things. Racks are the most annoying, except for maybe Sithoids. I don't know. They're both at, at If you're looking for the most annoying, you know, just enemies you have, because Racks will hit you at the worst possible time in the world. I mean, they find the worst times to come flying at you. And there's one spot where they are notorious. And it's when you're having to face a bruiser. Now, there are two skags over here, so take the long way. You actually came out, because you do not want to fall off that edge there. I mean, you can, but there's more skags down there that you would have to deal with. Now, what you're want, going to want to do is this bridge here... That red chest over there, and my crosshairs are on, that's our objective. What you're going to want to do is just basically bull rush in. You do not want to fight him on that bridge because you will fall down. And you're just going to want to just move around. Like I said, you just you just want to keep moving. That is the little strong part. Yes, is just keep moving. You do not to, I'm not trying to get cornered. Uh, I am. Yeah, like I said, she burns ammo like crazy. Oh, we got some Peter slugs, and like I said, they'll usually drop ammo. So, ammo's not necessarily. Up. Bad thing, and my inventory is full, so I can't pick any of that up. 
Yeah, you definitely want greens, blues, but definitely orange. If you see an orange, pick it up. That is a legendary, and they are rare as anything. If you find one, especially in, the, in playthrough one, get on your knees and think, RN Jesus. Okay. Burning Sniper, pretty good against Bonehead, and you'll see, because he has, Incendiary is great against him. It's just a normal sniper, uh, nothing special. Peter Slugs, and my grenades are full, so I can't pick up any more grenades. But, red chests like this, open. They usually, you know, for early game, they can usually find some good stuff. I saw a... I saw a repeater mag. Maybe not. I just want to get the bonehead. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to jump down here. Remember this area? Yep, we're back here. And I am just going to run up here. And we are going to kind of pick up what they dropped. Some shotgun ammo. Some more some SMG rounds. And are we are going in here. Real challenge. I hope you've toughened up enough. Alright, 200 repeater rounds. And you can buy SEUs, which I do recommend if you can. Which it will increase your, your weapon size. And use my Iridian. Yeah, I got a strong shield, I'm not worried. And I'm OP, so I'm not too concerned about them shooting at me. And some of them aren't exactly the best when it comes to accuracy. So, see, some of those little midgets have shotguns, and they'll drop them. And they are a bitch. I hate these. Because they're lower to the ground, so at times, they are hard to, they are, sometimes you don't see them because you're looking above where more like quote unquote eye level would be. And they're going to show up. Here is Nine Toes. And this is where we are going to end episode two or part two. Thanks for watching.